Thank you for joining me today. I'm in the book of Exodus, chapter 1. This is a story as uh, truly really the uh, precursor to the story of Moses. Moses will be born uh, in the story in chapter 2, but we need to understand before Moses is born what the uh, circumstances were surrounding his birth. And in chapter uh, 1, verse 15, we read about the king of Egypt, or the pharaoh, who approached the Hebrew midwives and said, he, he basically said, when you serve as midwife to the Hebrew women and you see them on the birth stool, if it is a son, you shall kill him. But if it, excuse me, if it is a daughter, she shall live. But the midwives feared God and did not do as the king of Egypt commanded them, but let the male children live. Now, I don't know if you've picked up on the uh, world in which we live, but I want you to notice that just as in Exodus chapter 1, so in our day, that there is a, uh, a blending of the issues of life and politics. And just as it happened in, in Exodus, so there are those in our day that stand for life, despite what the political leanings are in our world. Now, I, I always wrestle with talking about any kind of political thing in these video blogs. This particular one comes to mind because I have recently uh, been, in, been involved and supported a, uh, a, a, right, um, a right to life crisis pregnancy center. And that's important. And we who are believers in Jesus need to recognize that the issue of life is more important than all of politics. Now, we, we live in a day on the national level where there is a very great divide between those who are on one side of the political spectrum and those that are on the other side of the political spectrum. And the issue of life is that which is almost the litmus test of those two things. And so it is right here. But these women who had everything at stake they would, if they were caught um, disobeying the command of the king, they would be executed. And yet, they feared God more than they feared the king, and they said, I'm going to stand for life. Now, you may not agree with everything that people on the side of life do politically. In fact, I, I struggle because even locally there are those issues that I, that I see. But the bottom line is we stand for life. And life is at stake in this particular election. And so I urge you to, uh, to vote based upon your conviction about the importance of life and that particular world. Now, we, we recognize that life is more than just, it, it, it's described as important to God in more places than just Exodus 1. We read about it in Jeremiah 1, where from the, from the, uh, from the womb, before he was born, God put his stamp and called Jeremiah to himself. You stop and think about the, the first uh, expression of joy at the, the, the knowledge of Messiah, and it was a fetus. It was John the Baptist, who was still in his mother's womb when Mary came into the home of Elizabeth and Zacharias. So you can read about that in Luke chapter 1. The importance of life is very significant. And I, and I urge you, despite all of the political world in which we live, I, I urge you to be sure to vote in favor of those that are going to support life. Just like the midwives of this particular Exodus uh, passage, they voted, or excuse me, they, they stood because they feared God more than they feared the king. And that's important for us to realize. That's important in this, in this generation. We want to stand on his side.
even if the political winds may, may blow in ways that we don't like. In other words, if there are other things in the political platforms that we don't particularly care for, we still must vote for life. That's what the midwives did. And that's what I believe God is calling those in this particular generation to do as well. Father, we ask you to give to us the strength and grace. We may have to, as we proverbially say, hold our nose as we vote. But I pray, Father, that we would stand for that which is true to life. And I pray that your mercy would be poured out upon us, that your blessing, just as it was, uh, was visited upon these midwives, will be vi visited upon our nation as we stand for life and its value. So thank you for your faithfulness to us, Lord Jesus. We honor you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.